What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone. So, last episode we got us a automatic cobble farm going here. I have upgraded it since then. So we're sitting on about 26,000 cobblestone. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much all I've done. Uh, I've got together the stuff we needed for today's episode. Um, we're going to get us a smeltery done up. I've gotten, been getting ores ready to go. I've got this chest here uh, just waiting for this smeltery because we put this stuff in the smeltery. We'll get double the ores back. So that will definitely get us going pretty good. Um, We've gotten quite a few diamonds now. Uh, I'm still a little low on gold, uh, but for the most part, our supplies are running good. We've got uh, farm spread out here just a little bit more. Probably going to get us a spot set up for the farm outside of here. Uh, we're getting a little cramped in space here, so that'll be something that we work on pretty soon. Uh, something that I learned. I learned... That carrot juice is better is better food and better saturation than just eating just carrots so that's what I have switched to right now as far as food goes and to make it in the door all we need is our juicer just put the juicer in here put the carrot in here and voila so that's what I have been eating. Uh, as you can see, I've got some meat. I'll show you this right quick. That's the reason why I've got uh, the cotton growing right now is for string. Uh, I built one of these animal traps. Now, I didn't know for sure or not whether or not it would work here, being that there's no animals that spawn here. Um, but it works. So we've got another source of food here with this. Uh, so I guess... First thing we need to do is go back to our quest book. I've got one quest here that we have done that I need to. Uh, whoop. Ah, here we go. Uh, that we need to do, and that is this one here with getting the spirits. Uh, where I've been killing the mobs while I've been in here getting all the supplies and stuff together. I finally got this, but I figure I would wait until today to do this with you all. So let's get us our reward bag. Let's eat our heart. We now have six lives. And we got just a basic reward. Oh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Got us an infinite water supply. So let's put that in here. As you can see, I've been getting tons and tons and tons of stuff out of the mob drops, or out of the mob farm. So it is pretty close time to start working on doing some expanding and getting us some better storage set up. Uh, so I tell you what, we are going to do well. Let's go ahead and do these first. We need to get all this, which I need to get some wood, which I do have plenty of. And we don't need all of it in the planks. So the first thing we need is a tool station. And that is a crafting station and a blank pattern. So for the blank pattern, we need sticks and there we go let's go ahead and make quite a few of those for now let's make us a crafting station so there is part one of this and now we need a stencil table which is the plank in one of those There's that one. We need a pattern chest, which we're going to have to get into here to make a chest. There we go. 
I think it's just a chest in one of these. Yep. We need a part builder. Whoops. So I figured out if you hold your mouse over these here and you press R, it'll bring up your uh, recipe in the NEI for uh, what you need to make. So that definitely makes things a lot easier. So there's our part builder. And we have that done. So that's going to, oh man, that's going to give, I've already got, uh, where did I put it here? So we're going to need it. Did I leave them in here? No. Ah, seared brick. I've already got the seared brick made up for the smeltery, which I guess I should have paid attention, but we can go ahead and use the other grout and make it bigger. Uh, but for the grout, it is actually clay, sand, and gravel, which to get wasn't too hard. I just sat here and broke a bunch down to, broke a bunch of cobblestone down to dust and put it in these barrels and got the uh, clay and then just broke some more cobblestone down um, into gravel and sand. So that's how I was able to do that. So let us go ahead and claim our reward here. Let us see what we got. And I didn't get anything for it. Hmm. I got all that. That's just weird. Oh well. So let's go back. And so now we need to make all of this stuff, which we're going to need some glass. Oh, here it is. Uh, reward bag right there. I don't know why I didn't see it before. I guess I'm just blind today. So let's go ahead and open this up. We got some more magical wood. That's a good thing. We're going to need it. Uh, now I done lost what I was doing. What was I doing? Oh yeah, looking for glass. And I know there's some somewhere, because I made it. There we go. Alright, so, we're going to need 32 of these. So, let's see here. That, that, good thing they give us more because that just took every bit of that. Uh-oh. There it is. Had a hiccup. So, I'm going to... don't think we can do any of the rest of this without... Yeah. I'm going to let this uh, smelt up right quick and I will bring you guys back. All right, uh, we're back. I figured while we're waiting on that to finish smelting up, we'll go ahead and work on some of the other quests here. We're going to skip this one for now uh, until I can get the uh, smeltery going and get the rest of the uh, gold. So we're going to go ahead and go to this one. I think I've got the stuff that I need to make this one. So we need... Some tin gears. Yeah, I should have enough stuff to make that. So let's go in here. We're going to need two chests. Oh, I guess the big question is going to be whether or not I have. Yeah, I got enough redstone for this. We'll need that. Oh, we're going to need two more pieces. I think I made that backwards. Yeah, there I did. So we got that. We're going to need some iron here to make some pistons. Two pistons. Alright, and redstone. Alright. So then all I need is 10 gears, and to make the 10 gears, you need iron, and we need 10, I th 
thought I had grabbed it. I guess I didn't. Nope, it's right there. Alright, so there we go. There's those. And I'm going to need two more of those for because we got to make two of these. Alright, so we need our chest here. Pistons there, this here, that there, and that there, and there we go. So that should have that quest complete. This is going to give us a photovoltaic cell, which is a, a solar energy cell. We're going to get a chance cube, and let's go ahead and get our reward. And we got a good reward, which is more epic bacon. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that. Uh, so we're going to... I'm not going to worry about that. So the autonomous activators. They are used for placing stuff in the world. You can use them to place blocks. You can use them to do... Um, when we get, you know, get into uh, like Batania and stuff like that, you can use them to place buckets of water, uh, use hit uh, stuff with the wand of the forest. Uh, they're useful for several different things. Uh, so next, let's see here if this is ready. Nope. Well, we can do some of this stuff. All right. So let's go back into here. We need a seared window. Oh. Seared tank is what we need. And I can't spell today or I got fat fingers. So seared tank. Come on. So there's that one. We need a casting table, which let's go ahead and get the rest of this stuff while we're in here. There is none. All right. Let's go at Tinkers. All right. So we're going to need a casting table. There's that. We need a drain, and there's that. Oh, we're going to need three drains. All right. There's that. We need the casting basin, which we are out of grout. All right, so what else are we going to need? We need two of those and one smeltery controller. And what do we need for that? Uh, controller, just the rest of the, of the seared bricks. So let us go back in here. Our automatic sieving. So to make this, we need Invar and Electrum, which I don't have either right now. And for speed upgrade, ooh, I do have, I don't have a dark steel ball. I don't have any of that stuff, I don't think. Uh, nope. So we're going to have to hold off on that just for a minute. So let's let the rest of our um, bricks finish up here and then I will bring you guys back. All right, so we're back. Uh, let's get I done put my book up. Where did I put it? There it is. So let's get the rest of our stuff done up here. We need the casting basin. Just take care of that right there. 
we need two faucets one two one two and one two so there's those and then we need the controller and there we go so that should have us complete so that is going to give us a tool forge which is what we're going to use to make better tools a ingot caster uh, which will make it so we can smelt down our uh, ingots that we get uh, chance cube and let us get another reward bag here this is a good one and it's not good it's crap if I ever decide to run some wire I'm gonna have plenty of it one of these days alrighty so we are going to wait for well, we can still go over there. I've already got us a platform set up. I've done that while we was waiting for it. So we need a 9x9 nine nine space. So two, three, or excuse me. We need it. The middle of it's going to be three wide. So let's get these out. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right, so that will take care of. Oh no, we could have left that in here. put some torches down over here all right so to build this go like that right there we need our tank want to keep the tank on the side of it that way I can auto fill it with uh, lava when I get to that point we need the controller which we'll put it right here and then our three drains that we have we will change these out and we'll put the three drains right there and as you can see our structure is complete and that's not going to work right there so let us take this out Let us go these, and then we will put our drains in. That one turned the wrong way. And put this here and this here. That can go there, that can go there. And we will build this up another row. Oops. Shift click that one. And we are ready to start making some. I about walk right up in that void. Let's put that in here. Get rid of all the spawnable areas. Now they will be able to spawn inside of this thing. Um, but if they do, it'll actually kill them. And you'll see every once in a while we'll wind up with some blood in this thing. And that's where that comes in from. And I think for now we will go ahead and cap this off here so nothing will spawn up here and we'll fix this up and make it prettier later so we are ready to start doing some ingot smelting 
put that in there. We will get started with some gold, actually, because that's what I need. I got that, and I've got that. So basically, we need a bucket or two before we take off, because we can't smelt nothing if we don't have any lava. And I have got plenty of buckets now. I have gotten bucket after bucket after bucket uh, out of the loot bags. So in an, our little crucibles here, as I've been messing around here with this stuff, I've just been kind of filling them with, uh, with uh, cobblestone to just fill them up with lava that way. Because I knew we were going to get to this point and need lava. So just put our lava in there. And there we go, that'll work for now. And grab that, put our gold in there. Now as you watch, it will smelt it, turn it into a liquid form. And then when it's done, we'll be able to turn it into an ingot. Now when this is all said and done with, uh, I will have this set up to where it's automatic. All I'll have to do is walk over here, throw the uh, any of the uh, dust or you know the, or gravel and stuff like that into uh, a chest, and it'll go into the smeltery and it'll smelt it for us, and it'll actually make the ingots for us too. Um, so now we just right-click on the uh, on that, and we've got gold. So this is probably what I'm going to wind up doing between now and the next episode. Uh, work on getting all of our uh, dust and gravel and stuff that we have ready to go done up into ores. Um, so we'll have that, you know, be able to move farther along. Now this auto tool station, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, but we will check it out. Uh, we need a tool station. Oh, we need wool. How many pieces of wool do we need? One, two, three, four, six. All right, so with this cotton in order to make wool out of it we need nine pieces which I have six on me so we got our watering can here we can just sit here and water it and it will grow back for us uh, but it does take a little bit of time so I tell you what I'm going to get everything we need together in order to make this thing and then I will bring you guys back alright we're back got everything we needed together uh, to make this we're going to go ahead and use the tool station that we made just a minute ago so there is that made so let's go ahead and claim our reward which we get just a chance cube and we got oh a greater reward bag and oh we got some jungle saplings dark oak a dead bush, uh, eucalyptus, and we got some slime balls. That will come in handy here after a while. Alright, so, is there anything else we can do? No, we got to get our gold for this. Uh, what do we need for the vacuum hopper? Uh, I can make that. And hey, we'll just go ahead and save that for the uh, next episode there. Um, so let's put this down and see exactly what it is. Uh, items in the left slot. Okay, so this makes it... Um, I guess it adds uh, your uh, modifiers and stuff to it. I don't know. Items in the left slot. Okay, yeah, will be added to the tool in the middle slot. Okay, yeah, so that's what it does. Uh, 
So instead of having to sit, usually when you uh, do your uh, tinker's tools, if you want to put a uh, like haste on it or put luck on it or anything like that, you've got to sit and put it on there piece by piece, and it can take quite a bit of time to do it. So I'm gonna guess this does it. Uh, maybe all at once uh, so that'll be a little bit handy all right so we're going to go ahead and call it there uh, this this one here this is going to be something that we do as we go uh, can't do it yet because we need to get in the nether and get necrotic bones in order to make these red heart canisters and to go on up it takes a lot of resources you know this takes a diamond apple um, this one takes a I think it's a notch apple get my buttons right here I just takes a golden apple and then this one I'm not sure I've not ever made these before takes a nether star so I don't know, we can do it with a jewel case. Well, that's not necessarily that bad, but we have to get these, which I'm not sure. Okay, so we haven't even got to the yellow hearts yet. We have only got just a few of the red hearts. So, I think we'll go ahead and call it there for today. Uh, we got our smeltery up. Like I said, I'll get all these ores processed and get our... Uh, our invar that we need I got to figure out exactly what I need in order to make it uh, I did figure out what we need for this pyrothium dust which we need sulfur and in order to get sulfur we need to uh, we got to uh, sift sand so we'll uh, I'll work on getting some of that so we can get that stuff done uh, I got to work on a way to get some crushed coal. So I'll get all that lined up and we'll be ready to go in the next episode. So until then, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'm CJ and I will see you guys later. Bye.